we're just heading out for the day. Uh, we got a little dump of snow yesterday, as you can see on the deck. About six inches, nothing too crazy. So we're just clearing that out. Uh, just about an hour and a half out to the ground, so just gonna get on our way here, go see what we catch today. So luckily this stuff isn't all soggy yet, otherwise it'd be quite heavy. Just got out of here. First pull for Matt. It looks nice. That's a nice fish. A little rolly out here today. No wind though, so that's good. Beautiful out. Tide's just starting to ebb, so it's ebbing against this northeast swell that we are uh, ebbing against a southeast swell, I guess, kind of. From the last storm that went through. Good start here, anyways. 
first drift, just a couple of pulls. Might have to throw a Stavey pole out in a while. We'll see how long it takes to get tired of rolling around. There we go. It's a yeah. start. It is. <coughs> okay, so we have about 40 fish there. We'll fire up and go find another little patch. Yeah, throw this pole in. Oh, don't like rolling around? Not particularly. Might as well. Tires you out fast. Yep. Sure does. I would agree with that. At least we're not laying in the trough right here, but close enough. So in goes the stabilizer fish. Swims around. Make it a bit more comfortable. Yeah. Well, start bleeding these fish out. Oh 
snagged in a crack on the bottom pretty rocky down there around these parts so gotta run forward run ahead on the gear try and get it out
shy. <laughs> Rolly out here today. It's not rough because it's Rolly. Yeah, like you said, the, the edge coming against that swell, huh? Yeah, so the tide is ebbing, which means it's flowing this way to the southeast. And it just stacks up against the swell from the last little storm that went through <clears throat> the other day. So that makes the wave sharp. Nice to have a stabilizer pole. So we only put one out, and that's because when we start to get fish on these lines, they tend to flag out in that direction because we're drifting down current. So the weight of the fish will flag the lines out. Then they get tangled up in the paravane, the stabilizer fish, and it's a big hassle. So we only it's only fish with one pole in. But that's really all it takes. Makes a huge difference. What do we got back here, Matt? Let's see. No. Rookie mistake. That's because I'm distracted doing your job. What job? Snakes. That's how it goes. 
man, you're costing us valuable time. I know, right? When we get on a good bite, too. wise to invest in some new line I think dad Good idea. Kind of empty. Probably more comfortable. At first. Ah, cliffhanger, eh? Nice. That's a nice stringer. Yep, you're on the wrong side, T. There you go, buddy. I feel awkward. Yeah. Hang your weight over the side. There you go. 
Now, what you do is you take your gaff like this, like I'm holding it here, tap your fingers, and then put it, you can let go of that. Put it in the hook like that, uh -huh. and then you just twist it uh, counterclockwise from your view. And that just spins the hook upside down, makes it so the barb doesn't, doesn't poke into the flesh, like makes the, makes the barb just free, I guess. So give it a try. Uh, uh, upside down, gap hook upside down. There you go. Now pull it against you like this. Just pull it this way. There you go. Now twist it. Give it a quick twist. There you go. Oh, I feel so awkward. Try it with that one. See? You did it. Nicely done, my boy. Watch your feet though. Don't drop them on your feet. That hurts. Oh yeah, watch it when you get your line in there, it's impossible. All right, back to work for me. Maybe you can practice in front of a mirror or something. <laughs> oh, that's real nice. <laughs> Good job. Drop her down. big old teeth on him mm. he's just a baby these guys get big beautiful little fish though all right let's get you back little side. all right guys well i think we might be finishing up early today here just uh getting everything counted up and bled out Trying to get a final count here so we make sure we don't exceed the, uh, the amount of uh, space we booked on the airline. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful fish, nice day of fishing. Good job, guys. Yep. Good job. That was a good drift. Yeah. So, just getting cleaned up here. Scrubbing these fish up. Got them on the way in, so just uh, 
what, like an hour and a half or something to scrub these up? Yeah. Yeah, we finished up earlier today. We had a good day fishing, so these guys got the fish uh, cleaned on the way in. Just giving them a quick rinse and get all the blood and dirty off of them. And pumping out this fish hold real quick so we can drop these totes in here tonight. So then it'll get too cold. It's supposed to get real cold tonight. Well, cold for us. It's cold right now. But it's gonna blow, uh, it's gonna blow west 35 tomorrow. So we got a nice storm coming. So we wanna get these guys down and put away until we're ready to get them packed up and shipped out. So this will keep them safe here, down here tonight. Keep them from freezing anyways. Let's get a good layer of ice on top and they'll be good to go. I guess I don't really need to rinse down there, huh? Nah. Yeah, so we'll get these guys hooked up. We got uh, kind of some, some lifting hooks that we made for these totes. These work really good. Super simple design. You just drop right into the handle like that. They're long enough that they distribute the weight all the way across this tote. If you just tried to lift these up by the handle, you'd probably just break them after a while. So these work real good. Then we can just use our, uh, our single off our winch to pick these up and drop them down. I did that on purpose. <laughs> uh, just slightly on my fingy. Uh, situational awareness, Skip. <laughs> you missed your chance to say it. <laughs> What's that? Oh, see if I was okay first. There it is. Oh, little, little uh, scrapey on the skin. I gotta go lay down. <laughs> <laughs> Situational awareness, fail. All right. At least it wasn't too tragic. So, I'm going to get my rain gear on. And go up with you guys. So, close the valve to our fish hold. Open our sea chest back up. And then we can use our trap pump right here to supply water to the deck. Kick that breaker on. Get some water to the deck again. It's like she's flowing, huh? Yep. Alrighty. You got some toast dropped down in the fish hold. Keep them from freezing tonight.
right, just a few more fish to clean up, so we'll get these knocked out and get the rest stowed in the fish hold and back to town in our stall. Done for the day. Yeah. You can see the weather starting to set in. Our windmills up on the hill just started spinning about half an hour ago. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be cold tomorrow. I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it now. Our westerly yeah. is gonna bring that cold air from across Shelikoff to us and blowing 35, it's gonna get cold. So, be nice to have this done. Never drain out the deck pump. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're done with it, huh? Yeah, I should do it now. Yeah, Matt just reminded me to drain this pump. So we'll get that done right now. Just got a plug on the bottom is all. Put this inside where we don't lose it. And then that'll be fine for the night. We don't have to worry about it freezing. Last batch of fish to go down.